Well, you don't have any reason to not like him, do you? I mean, he's perfectly polite to you, and he's been very good to me. He brought me here. I wouldn't have even met you without him. And what is it, Saya? You don't like the way he talks, the way he looks at you? Uh, Saya shook her head, a rain of sleek black hair. No, I don't like the way he looks at you. That Mal took Malcolm by surprise. He tried to think of a response. Fuck it. She just didn't understand. Carney was his boss more than that. He was his mentor. He was the greatest trader Malcolm had ever met. And he was going to give Malcolm his American dream. But he didn't have the time of the language skill to explain that to Sarah. At the moment, he needed to get some sleep. Tomorrow morning, he was going to Hong Kong. Nathan rode two blocks from Hong Kong Harbor in the heart of Kowloon, a 30-story high-rise hotel tavern of the city posh Golden Mile with a stretch of high-end retail shop, five-star uh, restaurants, luxury hotels, throbbing UP discotheques, a place of immense wealth coming together from west and east, amid in a common ground of excess, hubris, and bold-faced consumerism. Asia, but not Asia, cosmopolitan, upscale city like New York or Tokyo, but with a Chinese twist, a multicultural melting pot, minus the Titan hundred poor, a place lodged in history but reborn in a wash of fresh currents and overwhelming commercialization. Hong Kong, Kowloon. The Golden Mile, from the moment Malcolm had stepped off the airplane, he found it difficult to catch his breath. The energy was unbelievable, as in the New York and Tokyo, but even more fast-paced, more hectic, just well more. Like Tokyo, it was a modern city with neon and windy narrow streets, but with a Chinese twist, the addition of open-air markets and seamlessly dangerous black alleys, and the ever-present crush of people. Like New York, the city itself had been built on the vertical buildings riding high above the harbor, the top floors in a super thick cloud. The place hotel was perhaps one of the most modern buildings, glass and home with a receiving driveway, clutched with Porsches, Mercedes and old Ferrari. Malcolm skirted past the crust of the check desk and made his way directly to the back elevator's far side of his lobby. Repetitor Paskaipus, Mark Studio Nostis.